are here for the Taco Tour 2024 of the Inland Empire. I'm Phil. I'm Janelle. This is my vacation pants. And we're gonna be stopping at the top 10 taco places in the Inland Empire. We're gonna be testing each taco, rating the tacos, and at the end of the day, we're gonna give you our ranking of where the top 10 tacos lie. Real quick, I this all started when I was waiting at an urgent care visit here in the Inland Empire. I saw a magazine article of the top taco places made some notes then over the years i interviewed locals got their recommendations and we narrowed it down to 10 today so it's gonna be a great trip let's taco put on your vacation pants all right first stop is tacos bahia fish here in ukaipa california we're gonna get their fish taco and for those of us that don't eat fish chicken tacos here so, is the fish tacos and it is tacos bahia you do not pronounce yes. the h we were saying it incorrectly <laughs> it means something different than bob it's like a, i knew it was it's good yeah. this is fish tacos it also comes with jalapenos yellow please, peppers please pickled please onions of course we got lime and salsa. salsa bar we're so, super excited can you show the big one yeah, that's the yellow yeah. All right, let's do this. Um, we made this uh, taco tour um, sheet, and we're gonna rank on a scale of one to 10 how we felt about this taco. Uh, one being the yuckiest, 10 being the best. I predict no so, ones. Uh, I don't think we'll have many of those today with our research. So I'm gonna give it one out. We got, Mom already has hers. I got mine. Cheers. Grandpa's got his, and then right. make notes. We're gonna make notes and rank. They're ranked right now. Just finished here at Tacos Bahia Fish. Phenomenal. We uh, all ranked it. We gotta introduce the crew though. Yeah. I'm Phil and Janelle. We met earlier. We have over here Luke, oh. Grandma, <laughs> AKA Marilyn, Audrey, and Grandpa, AKA Tony. Okay, the scale. Of okay. So we are ranking throughout the day on a scale of one to 10, obviously. Per we taco. Per taco, not compared to the others, although we will do an overall ranking at the end. So in general, uh, we're not gonna say everybody's ranking on each one, cause you know, but we are gonna just give you an overall impression. And this one, we had eights to 10s. That was the range. Eight, now the eights, I have to mention though, because it's a qualified eight. The people who, we had fish tacos here and several people here have never had fish tacos and a mm -hmm. couple, do not like fish. And even the not fish eaters gave it an eight. Yeah, that's why we had the chicken taco in the intro, but none of us yeah, had the chicken. Yeah, they all decided they were gonna try it. Yeah. Now, I'm a, I'm a fish taco guy, and it was an easy 10 for me. Yay. You guys liked it overall? Yeah. yeah. Yes. All the like Never special can. stuff, the peppers, <clears throat> pickled onions. Oh. Crema sauce. Crema? It was delicious. good cut of fish, and it was nice. Right. Yay! Okay, so stop number two. Stop number two, let's do it. Let's do it. Hi, stop number two here on our taco tour today is Little Kukas here in Redlands, California. Um, we're each gonna try a shredded beef taco and give it a ranking out of ten. Little camera. So, um, I'm gonna car show tacos. you car tacos. Car tacos. Car tacos. I'm gonna show you we got the shredded beef oh, that yeah. looks magical that's phenomenal Whoa. so and they make their salsa fresh yeah so we're so, gonna be checking yeah. that out so here we go uh, our kukas tacos in super great we loved them <laughs> another ranking scale <laughs> between eight to ten uh so me only one eight i think but you yeah. know mostly nines and tens only one eight <laughs> no it was really really good of course we're eating car tacos because it's not seating but that's part of the authenticity is yes. eating it at the street yes, here obviously. and they also told us about how they make their like salsa fresh he wasn't sure which was spicier because he didn't know whose recipe they're using yeah. that day which is phenomenal yeah. like that's, that's that's a sign that's of good, a good homemade salsa good tacos so. So. all right, all right. Step three. Step three, we're going, stop three. Stop three, up next, stop three. All right, stop number three. We're here at Tacotilla in Redlands, California. We are going to get the uh, hard shell ground beef taco and um, see how it is. Why are we getting that one? 
Well, it has to do with the history of the opening of Del Taco. That's right, we're gonna go to a place later on that's connected to the history of it, and uh, maybe we'll do a little voiceover and tell about the history uh, later on yes. to get some background info, but we're getting the historic hard shell historic ground beef. Historic tour. Yeah. Hard shell. Okay. Look at that there. Beautiful. Uh huh. Uh huh. They just give you the bottle of hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Chocolatia, you'll notice some gorgeous mountains in the background. We're here in the uh, Switzerland of Southern California. Yeah. And uh, Chocolatia, really good. We got some rankings everywhere, mostly uh, eight, nine, and ten. There was one outlier that was a six. He prefers not the uh, hard tacos. That's okay. It's okay. Still excellent overall. And I would like to put the asterisk here that we did order the historic hard shell ground beef taco. There are other items that we've eaten here before, and there are other items I prefer here. But they're French still fries. Excellent. Still are excellent. They're the best French fries yeah. you've ever tasted. So. All right, Taco Tia, now it's Yay. on to stop number four. All right, let's Yay. do it. Stop number three is Huichos Tacos here in Redlands, California. We're gonna have the carne asada street taco, my personal favorite. So, very excited. But we've never been to this place never before. Never been to this one. Very excited. So. Right, here we go. Asada, street tacos, the Huichos. This looks fantastic. A key and important thing when you're doing a taco tour is you have to pace yourself. You might think only one taco, but we're having 10 tacos throughout the day and it's already this is taco four. It's a challenge. All right. You guys. There it is. Hey, we just finished up at Wecho's. General right. feelings here? Really good. Perfect. Really good. Excellent. Yeah. Top. We got uh, mostly nines and tens. One eight. We won't like you know. <laughs> point out. Point out. <laughs> no, we all did nines and tens. You did? Yes. Oh, <laughs> never mind. All no, nines and tens. And tens. Whoa. Yeah, all nines and tens, that's right. This was when I was interviewing locals in Redlands. This one came up time and time again. And we've never been here, and now we're going to come We're home. definitely going to come back here. Here we are at stop number five, Mr. Taco in Redlands, California. We are getting the Chicken Street Soft taco and it's gonna be good here we go hi kids all right we got our chicken sauce tacos street taco style here some fantastic salsas look at those jalapenos there mm. oh my gosh this is gonna be good you guys excited yes 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 yeah mr taco are you ready all right Mr. Taco, fantastic. We had, I would, I think it was all nines and tens? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All nines and tens. Fantastic. Yep, everyone loves it. Uh, this is one of the very few restaurants on the planet that has a salsa that's spicy enough to make me sweat. Yeah. I'm still doing the cool knot, it's great. I love it. And I, they, they're spicy, they're grilled jalapenos too. Mm. And they gave us, yeah, the jalapeno bonus. And, and the chips free and chips and the little corn yeah. chips were so good. Very good. Well, Excellent. Pinwheels. Love Mr. Taco. Yay. All right. It's on to you, number six. All right. We're at stop number six, King Taco number 31. And we're going to get Chicharron tacos, six of them. And they're going to be fabulous. What city are we in? Fontana, California. All right, King Taco, always busy. Don't forget that if you're coming here, because it's very popular. Yeah. Well, we got our chicharrones, uh, tacos. Extremely excited for this. Pork belly for the uninitiated. And uh, looking forward to it. You excited? Very excited. They're already going to town over there. How is it so far? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we just finished up at King Taco. One of my one of my favorites. I have been to other King Tacos, although not this location. Not this one. First time here. Pretty fantastic. What you guys? You guys like it generally? Pretty good. Yeah. Yes, we had we had uh, mostly nines. We had nines, tens, and eight, eight and seven. we did have one seven, but not for King Taco, but the type of taco. Because we got the chicharrones. That wasn't like that your. That wasn't for me. Uh, this one of the ones I usually get. Just so you know, for future reference, I get chicharrones. I get a uh, carne asada, I get a carnitas, and then al pastor if I want to get four, because they're little tacos, they're you tight. know. 
So. No, no, good stuff. All right, we'll see. Ten from this guy, so you know it was good. good. We'll see you at the next. next Hi, we're at stop number seven, Takira Via Viva. Viva Via. Look at that. This is our shrimp taco. Taco camarones. It's pretty good. We're excited. Are you excited for this audience? Everything else is amazing about it. We are here outside. We're debriefing. Uh, generally, very positive review of Takaria Aviva Via. Yes? Yeah. Um, I gave it a 10 easy. I'm just going to say my number. Like, that was an amazing shrimp taco. We had Fantastic. A range. A range of to 10. There was a range. There was a couple of people oh. who do not like seafood. Especially one that gave it a lower rating because of the seafood. Yeah, that's it. But I that's, would come back and get that's one. That's not I was here. right. It was it was super delicious. Yeah. So free beans. But there free are beans. Other us that did a full tip. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. A few yeah, of us. very unique thing. They had like a big pot of beans by yeah, the salsa I've never bar, seen that. and you could just scoop them out, and they were so okay. good. We're I'm pretty full. How are you guys feeling here at Taco I Seven? Can make it pretty full. How many more tacos? Do we, have? we have three more tacos, so we need to move it along. Okay, three well, more. let's rock and roll. Let's do it. On to yeah. number eight. Yeah. All right, we're at stop number eight, Meat La Cafe in San Bernardino, California. Another great historical one. We got their um, hard shell ground beef tacos. And we'll talk about the history a little bit in a moment here. Yes, it was. It's gonna be great. All right, very excited for this. All right. All right, here's the quick history of the hard shell taco and the connection between Taco Tia and Meat La Cafe. First of all, the guy who started Taco Bell uh, got the hard shell taco idea from Meat La Cafe. And then a guy who worked at a Taco Tia for the Taco Bell guy started Del Taco and got the idea for the hard shell taco from the Taco Bell guy. So do your own research, find out who started it first, but it's an interesting connection. Right before they close, they let us sit down and eat because they're awesome. Look at those tacos, fantastic. They also brought some chips and salsa and oh boy, it's good stuff. How's everyone holding yes, up? Here's the tacos here at Meatless Cafe. As you can see, plates are clean. <laughs> General thoughts here. Great. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah? Right. Yeah. Audrey's also got some notes going there. <laughs> yeah. Just the ambiance of the restaurant and the staff is amazing. It's a very cool place. And if you look up closely up here, they celebrated their 80th anniversary, although I think that was a few years ago. Can you see what year it says, Janelle? 2018. 2018 wow. was their 80th, so now we're looking at... Uh, well, here's the 86. 86. All right, stop number nine is Juanito's Tacos in Highland, California, and we're getting a deep fried potato taco here. We're very so excited very to find excited. out what that is. And we'll tell you how it is. And we are here at Juanito's Tacos in Highland, and these are our potato tacos, and I'm very excited to try these. Already they brought some chips and salsa out, and it's good stuff. So very excited for this. All right, let's dig in. Okay, we're inside Juanito's Tacos. Just had our potato tacos. What do you guys think? Amazing. Yeah. Interesting. From eight to ten. Yes, there was one seven. Yeah. But. I always forget about that. Yeah. I'm not lying. However, I think everyone kind of agreed that the taco was excellent. Yes. And some of us were unsure about the potato filling, but that's not. That's more indicative of the filling. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. I it was the easy ten for me. But. It's kind of like Arby's. Where's the beef? I. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's a. It's probably a more acquired taste as a filling. But. Excellent tacos. Excellent. 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 And this salsa, You're oh like my salsa. gosh. Like, this is one of my favorite salsas of the day. And the staff is really nice, too. Yes, very, very cool. All right, we have one more. Are you guys slowing down? Are we feeling full? I can, I can do one more. Me. Yeah? One more is about all I have in me. Yeah. Mom was going, she was, <laughs> I, you're, you're, I, I had you're to crawling to the finish it. line. Yes. <laughs> Ten tacos in one day is no joke. Yeah. It makes you sleepy, too. Yeah. The guy is meatless. That's 10 tacos. Yeah, 10 tacos. You said that in one sitting, yeah. I'll eat them all at once. All right. 
That would well, be good too, I'm sure. That, it's true, but it is, it's very filling. Yes, it is. All right, well, one more. Go. We're on to number 10. All right. Yeah. We have yeah. less than an hour, so we better go. Yes. The Juanitos Tacos, probably the best single decoration we've seen all day. Fantastic. All right, stop number 10 out of 10 is Acocotli Mexican Cuisine here in Yucaipa, California. We did it. 10 tacos. And what tacos did we get here? And we got the Carnitas Street Taco here. Very excited for that. <laughs> Closing out the night. Closing out the night. It's dark out here, so it's hard to see, but those look beautiful. Carnita. We made it right before closing here, so we're gonna get these out by the car. Look at that beautiful. Carnitas tacos here. Incredible. So good. <laughs> Guys, this was our first. And only. And only all 10 out of 10 ranking. Everyone put 10 out of 10. We're working on our like final tabulations here but everyone ranked it 10 out of 10. We love so, that. wow. Now, all of them got a 10 from at least a couple people, but this is the only one that got 10 from all of us. Yes. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna do some final tabulations. All right, now, all of the taco shops we went to today, I think everyone would agree we're great. Yeah. I don't think we had any... We didn't have any stinkers. No stinkers, okay. but we're gonna go through our top three. Each person's gonna say their top three restaurants overall of the tacos here, so let's go. Top three, number one was King Taco, Ooh. number two was Mitla, and number three was uh, uh, Coco Cli, Mexican, this one Aqua here. Aqua Cli, yep. Yeah. Aqua that was your top three. That was my top three. Yeah. Excellent, all right. Three. My yep. top three were uh, Aqua Aqua Cotley. Aqua Cotley. Uh, then I have uh, Little Kukas and Mr. Taco. Okay. Top three. My top three were Aqua Cotley, Huichos, or Huichos mm -hmm. Huichos. Tacos, and then uh, uh, Juanitos Tacos. Excellent. Oh, your top three. Okay, my notes are a mess. Yes, just give us your top but three. But my though. top three are in no particular order. Oh no? Well, yeah, kinda. Um, we got Huichos Tacos. Huichos. And then we got uh, Aco, what, how do you say it? Aco Cotley. Aco Cotley. Um, and then Juanitos Tacos. All right, come on, My top three. top three is Aco Cotley. And then Huichos. Huichos. And Pitla. All right, and then. All right, top three. My top three were, I'm going in increasing order, we had Aqua Cutley, uh -huh. and we're out here. Then King Taco, and my number one of the day, Tacos Bahia Fish, mm. which was the first one, but man, did I love it. All of them fantastic, though. It's been an incredible taco tour. 